everyone, it's Diego Doom here. Today I'm bringing another review. Today I'm reviewing Ultra Act Ultraman Taro. Ultraman Taro comes from the 1973 show Ultraman Taro. When Kotaro, a young boxer, is killed, the Ultra Brothers take his body back to the land of light. Mother of Ultra merges Kotaro with Ultraman Taro. Ultraman Taro is the young son of Father of Ultra, who was trained extensively to become the sixth Ultra Brother and member of the Space Garrison. After the merging process, Kotaro returns and joins the Earth Defense Force known as Zat. Ultraman Taro, Kotaro, and Zat battle various monsters and aliens to protect Earth. So, be sure to check out the 1973 show Ultraman Taro to Simply Fantastic, but nonetheless, Ultra Act Ultraman Taro is another fantastic release in the Ultra Act line. Ultraman Taro has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first, let's take a look at Ultraman Taro's accessories. Ultraman Taro comes with a pair of open hands, a pair of chopping hands, a set of individual right hands, a pair of alternate wrists, one accessory stand piece, one color timer, one additional chest piece, one Taro bracelet, one Taro lance, and one story and ray effect part. So first, let's take a look at the open hands. The open hands have a fantastic sculpt with fantastic pamps going on, a very nice vibrant red and a very nice glove-like appearance here. Definitely very cool. Next pair of hands are the chopping hands. We have the same great sculpt and same great pamps going on. Very nice. For the individual hands, the first hand is meant to hold the Taro bracelet here, so very nicely done here. Very nicely detailed. The next holding hand is meant to hold the Taro lance. As you can see, a very nice firm grip here. Definitely very cool. Then the final individual hand is meant to replicate Ultraman Taro's transformation here, so we can zoom, zoom, zoom into the screen. So very nice there. Absolutely fantastic. The hands attached via ball joint peg system, so we'll grab our figure here. We're gonna focus that some, just like that, and we're gonna pop out the fist, swap it out for a chopping hand. Get that on, like so. Very easy swap there. Definitely very cool. Very nice. The next accessory is the color timer. The color timer is very nicely done here. We have a very nice vibrant rev of a nice compound effect going on, so definitely very cool there. To attach this, we'll grab our figure, pop out the existing color timer, yank that right on out, peg in our new one here, we'll get that in as best we can. It can be hard to peg in at first, we have that. So now, time is running out for Ultraman Taro, so definitely very cool there. The next accessory is the accessory stand piece. So this is very nicely done. A very simple accessory because a very long ways for our figures here. So very cool to attach this. We'll grab our figure yet again. Spin around to the back here. Pop out the lower panel like so. So we'll get that out as best we can. Put on our new accessory stand piece like so. We'll get that in and follow the pattern. So now we have that. Very nice there. So now we can put Ultraman Taro in truly seamless jumping and flying poses without having to use the unsightly Tomashi clips. That's absolutely fantastic. So definitely very cool there. The next accessory is the Taro bracelet. So we have a very nice sculpt, a very nice pants going on. Very nice metallic silver and gold here. Very nicely detailed. Definitely very cool. This is held very firmly by the holding hand. So we'll grab our bracelet holding hand here. Grip that like so. Get it on there as best we can, let's see. Get it on, there we have it. So now it's gripped very well, it's not going anywhere at all, so definitely very cool there. Next we have the Taro Lance. As you can see, a very nice metallic silver here, very nicely detailed, absolutely fantastic. This is gripped very well as well, so we'll grab our another hand, grip that like so, and as you can see, it's not going anywhere. So it's definitely very cool. The next accessory is the additional chest piece. So we have the very nice metallic silver and gold going on, very nicely ribbed, so definitely very cool. To attach this, we'll grab our figure, pop out the color timer here to release everything, so yank that right on out, pull off the existing chest piece, we'll kind of focus it all here, and it's very, very simple, we'll just yank it all off, nothing hard about it, grab our new one, wrap it around, and it pegs in in two different places in the chest and in the back. So for the chest here, we have two peg holes. So we'll get that in down here and we'll in right there. Pretty cool. Then on the back, we'll get that in two holes in the back. So we have one on each side. There we have that. So definitely very cool. Now, the whole point of this is it gives more room for our arm for the storium ray effect part. So very nice. This comes to play in just a few moments. So. Moving ahead, now this accessory is kind of tough to deal with and you'll see what I'm talking about. So we have our alternate wrist pieces here. So first we have one without the bracelet, which is pretty cool there. So kind of focus that and zoom in. So 
Very simple here. Then we have one with the bracelet attached, but it's actually being utilized, so very nice there. Now the initial wrist that's attached to the figure has the Taro bracelet attached, but not in use, so it's very nice. Now to swap these all out, what we're gonna do, we're gonna have to pop off the whole assembly here for the wrist. So we'll yank everything out, like so, so you can see this, and what we have to do is, well, whoops, that kind of fell down. Swap out the wrist like so, so we have this individual wrist here. We'll put on the, let's go ahead and put on maybe the plain wrist, we'll say. So we have this empty peg here. Now the plain wrist is gonna slot right on like so. It's pretty simple there. Then you have the ball joint peg stem inside the fist still. You have to push it right in to lock it all in place. Now here's the problem with the right hand. What tends to happen, if you wanna swap hands on the right arm, or excuse me, the left arm, what's gonna happen is, this whole assembly is gonna come out every single time, and it's very hard and very time consuming to swap hands on this figure, in particular for that left hand, so do be aware of that. But still, moving forward, we finally have the Story and Ray effect part, it's absolutely fantastic here. Surging with energy here, an absolutely fantastic sculpt. Very nice red and green here, Death, very cool. Absolutely fantastic, very nice effect part indeed, so very nice. Now, to attach this, what we're gonna do, we have to remove that whole assembly, which is pretty annoying, so we'll swap this all out, and what we have to do is pull out the ball joint peg stem out of the fist, and this kinda hurts if you don't have fingernails, and even when you do have fingernails, you run the risk of getting your fingernails bent back, so, uh, do be warned about that so we get that out as best we possibly can. So very nice there. So what we'll go ahead and do, we'll reattach everything. So we'll put on our blank wrist. So very nice there, we'll kind of focus that. Grab our stem, put it back into place. Then we have our effect part here. So we'll focus that. And we'll just peg that into the fist that's already attached. And it's a very nice, simple, fit, keep the stem straight, you don't want to break anything. Peg it in like so, and there we have it, so very nice. So, now we can go ahead and perform our Storium Ray finisher. So it's definitely very cool, so we have this up. See the extra space here for the additional chest piece here, we can pull the arms over more to make this as accurate as possible. So we'll get this all in place, have my arm kind of rotate to funny. Get it over, rotate it around, and you get the gist. So it's definitely very cool. Absolutely fantastic there. So, now let's take one moment and attach one very special accessory and put Ultraman Taro in a seamless flying pose. So now we have Ultraman Taro in a seamless flying pose and looks absolutely fantastic. I really do enjoy the accessory stand pieces. It's very nice we don't have to use those unsightly Tom Shee clips so we can simulate those truly seamless jumping and flying poses and it's definitely very cool. Furthermore, it is absolutely imperative that everyone picks up a brother's mantle. It truly completes the Ultraman Taro figure. So, now we have the accessories out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at the Ultraman Taro figure itself. Ultraman Taro has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, and a fantastic range of articulation. So first, let's start with the head. So we look left, we can look right, very high up, very far down. Nice rotation going on for the shoulder joint. Arms rotate 360, the arms come out 90 degrees. There's an entire arm swivel going on. Very nice double jointed elbows. The fists are ball joint pegs, we can tilt spin these freely. In the upper chest, we lean very far backwards, very far forwards, twist side to side and lean side to side. In lower waist, we lean very far backwards, very far forwards, twist side to side and lean side to side. For the legs, we kick forward about this much. If we pull down the hip joint ever so slightly, we kick up this high, so very nice there. Very nice double jointed knees. The feet tilt and swivel, and the toes are articulated as well. So a very nice hyper-articulated Ultraman Taro figure. This is absolutely fantastic. In terms of sculpted paint apps, it's absolutely spot on here. A very nice vibrant metallic silver, a very nice vibrant red, a very nice compound effect going on for the eyes. We'll kind of zoom in here. And very nice detailing as well. So we'll zoom in and focus some. Let's see if we can pull a little bit of light over here as well. So as you can see, the detailing is absolutely spot on. A very nice compound effect going on for the eyes, you can see. Very nice rib detail for the head. Very nice horns here. Very nice rib detail going on for the chest piece here. Absolutely fantastic figure here. Definitely very cool, and as you can tell also, this figure is not overly buff, so this is definitely very cool. An absolutely fantastic representation of Ultraman Taro here. Very nicely done. So, now we have the Ultraman Taro figure out of the way, let's go ahead and conclude the review. To conclude the review, Ultra Act Ultraman Taro is another fantastic release in the Ultra Act line. 
Ultraman Taro has a fantastic sculpt, fantastic paint applications, fantastic accessories, and a fantastic range of articulation. This figure is definitely very nice, very neat, and very cool. I highly recommend everyone picks this figure up. Also, be sure to check out the 1973 show Ultraman Taro. It is simply fantastic. This has been another review by Diego Doom. Thank you very much for watching, and please stay tuned for more figure reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe.